Welcome back, everybody. Here we are today in the trunk of a 99 through 2005 BMW 3 Series sedan. What we're going to be doing is removing the trunk panels here on the driver's side to gain access to our iPod or Droid uh, connections, as well as the factory amplifier should we be installing a subwoofer system. So let's get started. It's very straightforward. First thing we're going to need to do, remove this tail light cover. So I'll, I'll do it and then I'll talk you through it. There's a little knob back here and you turn it counterclockwise. This just pops right out. We depress this tab, pull it out. Here's the little knob I was talking about. So we left loose, right tight. So we'll take that, we'll move it out of the way. And now we're gonna take our metal panel removal tool from our toolkit. Usually lives right here. We're gonna pull it out, grab this. We're gonna use this little fork tool and I'll show you how this works. So we've got actually two of these on this side. So you can kind of see how that works. So this goes through, hooks it, pops it out. There's actually a second one up here. You can see the hole. This car has got it, it's missing and your car may or may not have it still in place. A lot of these have been taken apart before so pieces invariably end up missing. Um, so with that being said, the carpet is essentially loose. So now we're gonna pop out the trunk floor. And again, this is all super duper straightforward. As you can see. And if you just bought your new BMW, or you just, it's a new to you BMW, and it's a good time to clean everything. So again, very similar style here. We have two that need to be removed. So we'll take these guys out of the way. Move those guys. And now, essentially, we want to take the carpet and we start peeling it, peeling it out and lifting up. And be careful back here. You want to make sure to watch, make sure the carpet doesn't hook on any of the plastic tail light assembly. So we'll fold the carpet down. And there we go. We don't need to take the whole trunk lining out. You can uh, if you've got that kind of time. So we're going to look for our three and six pin connectors first. But in the meantime, let's identify our factory amplifier, which is this box right here. Here, it's all one piece. So if we're making a subwoofer connection, we will do it right here in this harness. And the harness runs back through there. I'm talking about that one. Our three and six pin connections, oh, cool. They always tuck them back here behind the amplifier in a black padded wrap. So we just, just Velcroed closed. So we'll just take that, unwrap it, and access our three and six pin connections. So this is our power and communications. This is our audio on the six pin. Very straightforward. These are the cables that one way or the other need to get up to the front of the car. So depending on the kit you're installing, the module may live here in the trunk, or you may route a cable all the way to the front of the car and install the module in the front of the car, and then there'll be a three to five foot cable from that module to the iPod itself, or iPhone, or your Droid. So with that being said, let's identify something very quickly, and then we're gonna start on the rest of the install process. I don't know if you guys can see back there. There's a little black grommet, and that is what lets the trunk communicate with the front of the cabin, just a little pass through, and that's where we're gonna take our cables through. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pause here, join you back around in the cabin and finish the installation process as we take the cables forward in the car. Bottom cushion, it's very simple. Take your hand, pop up, pop up, pull out, and you're going to find a whole bunch of change and M&Ms and cereal if you've got kids or if you had, you bought the car used, you're going to find all kinds of treasures down here. So with the bottom cushion out, be careful these little guys will go over that in just a minute. Put it back in. I'm going to pop out the center headrest, showing you this. There's a couple different tricks to getting back behind the actual seat itself. There we go. Let's get our hand back here. There we go. <laughs> As you can see, this one is super duper tight. So now, There we go. Just so you guys know, this is one of the tighter seats I've come across. So, so now, this is one of my actual favorite details about these cars. And very few people know about this just because they never see it. 
But check out the detail BMW went to by embossing the padding between the front and the back of the car with the logo. I think that's just the coolest thing. Really impressed with them for doing that. So, you guys recall from earlier, we found that grommet that went from the trunk to the cabin. This is it. So it just pops out like so. And now we have free access into the trunk and that's how our cable is going to be routed. So we're gonna go through and route the cable up to the front of the car. We've got a couple of different kits that, that we work with. Um, if you've got the kit where the module lives in the trunk, so it's, it's gonna be where you're, you've got the kit with the iPod connector or iPhone connector on one end and the, the module, the, the plug that goes into the module on the other end, it's about 17 feet long. There's a very, very simple way to do this install. It's about a 10 minute process, truth be told. Um, cause the cable's so skinny, it's very easy for us to route. So if you've got the kit that uses the module in the trunk, not the module in the front, um, this is how we're gonna do this. It's very straightforward. So we're gonna take this end, we only need, probably only gonna leave about that much in the trunk, three feet or so. So just push it on through. Push it on through there. Just, just tie it up a little bit so you don't pull it through. No big deal. And then we take the other end with our connector for our iPod or our iPhone. This is going to be, again, only for the kit. It's, it's an iPhone or an iPod specific kit. So if you've ordered the kit for your Droid or you've ordered one of the more um, in-depth kits, this is just our basic interface. Um, you can see right down here, so we'll tuck this. This is all going to tuck. You'll see right here there's a seam in the carpet. Right here, there's this nice seam. And the seam goes under the seat all the way up, and the seam goes all the way into the center console. So what we're going to do, again, we're just going to tuck this right up through there. So we'll take the end, we'll go under the seat, like so. I'm going to pull it. It's funny, this kit, this is the only kit that lets us have such a, uh, a unique, simple install where there's literally almost no effort involved. So we'll leave ourselves plenty to tuck. And you can see it just tucks right behind the seam. It's completely invisible. It just tucks right in there. And then we'll take a little hook, make a little loop rather. We'll tuck it up under the seat rail on the other side. Again, it's gonna be kind of hard to show you guys. We just tuck it up and you just very gently pull the iPod connector up through there. We'll take it like so. And now, look at that. We already have our cable there in our center console. And it, and it literally just took a matter of moments to do that. So now, I'm gonna sit up here in the seat. So at this point, you know, you've got plenty of cable. You can do whatever you want. You can route it into your center console. If you've got uh, one of our spec docks, this would again plug into the female connector on the spec dock, which lives in our ashtray. Um, if you want to bring it out here, bring it out here at the emergency brake boot, you can tuck it back up through here, bring the cable out, you know, just leave maybe like this much cable exposed. Put your iPod or your iPhone right here. Again, it's very straightforward. And then tuck all of this cable. There's plenty of room to tuck this cable and keep it hidden. So that's a super quick way to do this install if you're doing our most basic kit with just the iPod or iPhone integration. And that wraps up the install here in our 1999 through 2005 BMW 3 Series sedan for our, our most basic kits. Uh, thanks again for joining us. We'll see you next time.